Well, nearly a third of the players in Major League Baseball are Hispanic, and that demographic is consistent in the makeup of the Orioles roster. Hispanic players face numerous challenges in their quest to reach the big leagues. Foremost for some, the language barrier. Yeah, sports director Mark Viviano has more. The Orioles have a roster deep in talent and deep in diverse backgrounds. Players from different countries and cultures. Communication is key in team sports, and it's an added focus in the Orioles' success this season. All-star closer Felix Batista and shortstop Jorge Mateo from the Dominican Republic. Relievers Yenier Cano and CNL Perez of Cuba. Outfielder Anthony Santander of Venezuela. Gold Glove third baseman Ramon Urias of Mexico, all key contributors to the Orioles' rise to first place. We have a wonderful group of international players here that I just love, and they're they're all from all you know all over the place, and they've uh, they just have huge hearts and and uh, are really competitive. That competitive nature can be useful when Spanish-speaking players face the obstacle of a language barrier away from their native country. They often come to the U.S. to play baseball as teenagers and try to get by with basic communication at the ballpark, eventually needing to expand their use of English to get by in society. That's where I am right now. Thank God I'm more able to communicate, speak with them about any conversation. Uh, and I don't have that afraid to make a mistake, which is important. That's, that's my process. That's how, okay, if I make that mistake, so I learn that work. And, it's still learning, you know, because it's, it's tough coming here knowing zero English. And, but thank God uh, he, he gave me the intelligence to pick up a little bit. Santander speaks English more than a little bit. Orioles translator Brendan Quinones stands by if needed, but Santander is able to converse on his own. He's worked long and hard to get to this point. With so much focus on how Latino players develop on the field, it's easy to forget the challenge of learning a new language. Well, at the start, it was pretty difficult, you know, not knowing anything and whatnot, but slowly but surely I started to learn at least the, the basic words and phrases to defend myself and get from here to there. And, you know, luckily I have my wife as well who knows English and she's been able to help me. We always have to think together because uh, that's the only way we can help each other and try to not speak too much Spanish. Orioles manager Brandon Hyde has been in pro baseball for more than 25 years. He's worked with Spanish-speaking players and knows firsthand what they face and how teams need to make sure those players are welcomed. I wish my Spanish was better, to be 100% honest. Um, but I do want them to want to be able to communicate with me. I try to be really open with them. Um, I try to make sure that they understand what I'm saying. I mean, it's really important that I just don't assume that they know what I'm saying, that, that they understand. He can do his best. Spanish is hard. Spanish is hard. Uh, but yeah, sometimes we throw a couple of words in there, like, and he pick it up, like, ¿Cómo estás, mi amigo? ¿Cómo te sientes? Eh, yeah, he knows a couple of words. Baltimore has a growing Latino population that has grown in its appreciation for the Orioles. Yenier Cano tells me he hears from those fans after each game, congratulations after victory, and moral support after defeat, which this season are rare. Back to you.